So, hi, I'm Maria from Portslow, and today we'll present you, uh, yeah, here, I will present you a feature that we have developed that is stock uh, reservation areas. Well, here you can see a little bit the topics I will discuss about during the presentation. So, first of all, when we talk about reservation management in Odoo, there are uh, several uh, requirements that we should consider and ideally all should be met. For example, flexibility, a uh, flexible system, it's important so we can um, do small modifications as needed like managing uh, reservations and just reserve things if, if we need to or um, set some priorities to decide what to reserve or what not. Also an efficient system is very important to ensure uh, cost effective and smooth operations and efficiency for example would be so to minimize at the maximum the processing time for example minimize also the time the, the length that operators have to walk inside the warehouse to take their products so um, place the product efficient, efficiently inside the warehouse and minimize errors also in picking and packing also, it's important to ensure that clients will get their products, of course, and to do that, it's important to have uh, tracking of all products available and all products that are also reserved and that we have in stock. And then there is the first arrive, first serve principle, that meaning that first sale order and first demand that has uh, been created in our system have to be the first orders to be fulfilled. Now I want to show you a case scenario where we maybe have some limitations regarding the reservation management. Imagine that we have this stock location, this is a typical um, warehouse distribution with a storage location and a picking area. And then there's a sale order that came with uh, two units of perk one. And if our source location is stock, um, Odoo will make a reservation and reserve, for example, a unit in picking area, but since there is no other more stock in that area, we reserve the other unit in storage. What can happen that since you cannot decide where to do reserves, you can have this product one reserved in our storage, in, for example, at the top of our rack or in a place that is not very reachable and the picker will have to walk along the stands or lose a lot of time <coughs> in order to take that product and then uh, fill that order. This meaning that this is not a very efficient way and not very flexible since you cannot decide how this is being reserved. You may be thinking, why not reserve directly in the picking area? Okay, in this case, we can uh, one unit of product one will be reserved in picking area, but then you are still missing one unit. The thing that can happen here is that when the warehouse people decide to replenish this picking area, um, other sale orders have been placed and that reserve that product, the, these units that have been replenished in the picking area and then our original, well, well the first sale order, this one that I'm explaining um, doesn't get the products before, um, before and yeah, we won't, we won't be accomplishing the first arrive, first serve principle. And there are some alternatives already in OCA that helps us manage these reservations. For example, we have this stock available to promise module. This module is very useful because whenever a stock move is placed, a virtual reservation is done. And it has a method that ensures that the first arrive, first serve principle will always be accomplished. And, and, and you can validate your operations in the order that you want, but this um, principle will always be accomplished. It has some cons, for example, manufacturing orders can steal this stock because they are not being taken into account in this module. And also that, well, Udo still decides where we where will we reserve these quantities. Then we have this stock reservation rules module that Jack explained before in the before, um, talk. That, how, uh, like he explained, you can set up uh, different rules and manage the priorities you want to have, so uh, within locations. You can decide which locations Odoo will reserve first. Also, you can set some removal strategies, strategies for each location. But in this case, well, the, not the first arrive, first of principle, it's not being accomplished because, I, I, as I explained in the cases scenario, 
if there is no product, then um, other sale orders can still the stock. So our proposal is stock reservation area. A uh, reservation area is just a group of locations. It's a very simple idea. And then each time a product is, is moved out of an area, it's reserved in this area. Then products can only be reserved locally in a location if this product, uh, that, that quantity is available in all, in all the areas that product um, belongs to. Because um, um, we can have areas inside other areas, so a, pr um, a product can be in many ar areas at the same time. For example, we can have a warehouse um, area and then inside of the warehouse a stock one area. So a product inside stock will be inside the stock area and inside the warehouse area. And with this module, we are ensuring the first arrive first sale principle as long as there is a stock. It's flexible because you can decide how to move these products inside your area. It's simple, it's a simple idea, it's useful and can help you making warehouse management more efficient. And on the other hand, as to do still decide where to um, reserve this stock inside the location area, the location, the source location of the move. Sorry. So now I want to show you a quick demo of this module. Just to give you a little context, I have created a demo database with um, five um, stock location areas. One is reserve area. Sorry, one is at a company level. Then one for warehouse one, another for warehouse two, and then one for stock one inside warehouse one, while it's a different colors, and one for stock two. And now, here you can see the different reserve areas there and under configuration in winter up, in here in reserve areas. And for example, if I go to warehouse one, there are some moves, are, well, you can see that there are all these locations inside. Once you select a location in, to be inside an area, all its children are also inside this area. Then when you install this module, um, automatically for each warehouse that you have in your system, a reservation area will be created. And then the, um, the moves that you have already in your system will be reserved in the area. So here you can see the different, uh, they are grouped by product, the different um, moves that are, that are reserving in this area. I think that's better that I explain you with an example that I will show you now. I have created a test product to show it to you that we have it like in the case scenario that I explained to befo you before. We have, oh wait, I think that sh location should appear here. Mm. Let me just visit it this for a moment. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I think that now it will be. Okay, now. So now you can see that I have one unit in shelf one that would be like a storage location inside my stock location. Then one unit in the picking area and then I have two other units in uh, my warehouse too. Now I will recreate this delivery order that had two units of demand. And when I check availability, I am the area reservations are done. You can see, first of all, that in, my comp in a company level, we have two units available, so there are, there are two reserves. In my warehouse, also, there are two units. In my, inside my stock location, also, there are two units. But as I showed you before, inside my stock, I have one unit in the picking area, that is my source location, and one unit in storage. I don't know if you see it right. So, locally, only one unit has been reserved, but in my areas, I have two. It's the minimum that I have in my areas. Now, if I duplicate this move, I have duplicated and I want to reserve again. I can see that locally I haven't reserved any unit and in my area I haven't reserved anything. But, as I explained you before, in my company there are two units because I showed you I have two units in my warehouse too, but inside warehouse one and stock one, there are no left units um, because they are reserved in the areas of warehouse one. So now I will do, I will replenish the peak area. The idea of this module is that the warehouse people can replenish this peak area as they want to and they would move the, some products into the picking area. In this case I will, I will just move one because I have only one stock here. 
And here, when I click check availability, you can see that there are no area reservations because I'm moving my products from within my stock uh, location that we are not moving any products outside any area. I validate, and if I go back here, I can check availability, and I have the two units reserved. Okay. And now what I want to show you, for example, if I want to move these two um, units that I have in my warehouse two from warehouse one, uh, sorry, I to add here the product, I will move those two units. And here when I reserve, you can see that only two units have been reserved in warehouse two because we are moving them from warehouse two from to warehouse one, so they are going out only from the warehouse two area. Well, I can validate, and if I go back here, they are still not available in the picking area, but they are available in my stock one um, area. And that was the demonstration, and the challenges we have faced during this module was mainly the installation in the databases, because as I explained to you before, when, once you install this module, uh, a reserve area is created for each warehouse and it was challenging to in with databases with a lot of moves and a lot of um, reserved quantities locally to populate these area reservations, but we managed to do it. Then also at the beginning, our idea was to only have one area for each location. So you couldn't have, for example, a bigger area in a company level and one smaller area inside in a warehouse level and one inside. So we thought that maybe it was more useful to have it that way but we said that um, the best way was so they are concentric. And finally, we are also, it's a work in progress, but we are working on implementing it and adding it with manufacturing processes also. So wherever a manufacturing order is created, it also reserves um, inside the areas. And that's all. Do you have any questions? Okay. <laughs>